with another Oreo taste test. Ooh. I know I pretty much have one every week now, but I'm going to try and space them out even though these are limited edition uh, flavors and it's more helpful when they come out earlier. Like right when I see them, I am going to try to space these out with my makeup related videos because I don't want too many Oreo taste tests like back to back to back. I don't think that that is a good idea, but I am going to continue purchasing these. As of right now, I'm going to continue purchasing these as I see limited edition flavors because I do think it's a fun different thing to film on my channel and I do think that it can be helpful, but if it gets to a crazy absurd point where I'm finding a new Oreo flavor every single time I go out grocery shopping, then I'm going to stop doing them. I'm just going to get right into this, so I'm sorry if you don't like these videos, but if you do, then just keep on watching. Limited edition Choco Chip Oreo, Choco Chip Flavored Cream, Artificially flavored sandwich cookies. So this is what the uh, package looks like. It does have the resealable tab right here and it looks like it's a chocolate chip cream and also a chocolate chip cookie. I don't know if you can tell that. It looks like there's chocolate chips and that golden biscuit so it looks like it's a double chocolate chip sort of thing going on if you know what I mean like chocolate chip cream and chocolate chip cookie. And it says artificially flavored choco chip Oreo limited edition choco chip flavored cream artificially flavored. Serving size is two cookies. There's about 10 servings. It is 140 calories. And I found these at Walmart. That's the only place I've seen the choco chip one so far. So when you open it up, it looks like that. It is a chocolate chip cookie and a chocolate chip cream. It smells strange. It smells like an Oreo cookie, but it also just smells like a chocolate chip cookie, so it's kind of confusing. Kind of like the Chips Ahoy chocolate chip cookies. So they do look double stuffed. There is a lot, a lot of filling in this limited edition cookie in particular. It's a chocolate chip cookie. You can see the chocolate chips in there. I don't know if it's just the golden biscuit with chocolate chips in it or if it's a chocolate chip flavored biscuit, if that makes sense, but in, that's the other side. So there are chocolate chips in it. And then when you open it up, there are also chocolate chips on the inside. And then this is what the cream looks like. It might be a cookie dough cream with chocolate chips in it. I don't know exactly, but that's what the cream looks like. There are chocolate chips in it. Cheers. It's kind of like a cream filled chocolate chip cookie. It's interesting. I don't know exactly how I feel about it right now. There's kind of a weird taste to it, like almost like coffee tasting. I don't know where I'm getting that from, but there's kind of a coffee taste in it. I'm going to try the cookie part alone. Yeah, that kind of just tastes like a chocolate chip cookie. And now I'm going to try the cream part alone. The cream has a really weird flavor. The cookie is just a chocolate chip cookie. The cream is like coffee with chocolate in it. I'm going to finish this and then tell you what I think. There is a weird taste in there. It's almost like a burnt chocolate chip cookie or coffee mixed with chocolate chip cookie dough. It's a weird taste. I don't know if I like it or dislike it. I think I would eat another one of them, but I don't love it. It's kind of confusing to explain. It's almost like it's a gone bad chocolate chip cookie dough cream. It's just that weird like bitter coffee taste that's in it. I don't know where I'm getting that from or why it's in there because it's just supposed to be a chocolate chip tasting cookie, but it does kind of taste like a chocolate chip cookie stuffed with cream. It's not bad. I definitely wouldn't get it again though, and I don't think I would recommend it if you're just looking for a chocolate chip cookie. I would go for like, I think it's the Keebler soft batch chocolate chip cookies. I would go with those over these or the Chips Ahoy ones or just make your own chocolate chip cookies. I wouldn't go to this cookie for a chocolate chip cookie like fix if I'm having a craving for a chocolate chip cookie. It's just not what I thought it would be. I'm going to finish that package, of course. It's not bad enough that I'm not going to eat them. I mean, I 
bought them, so I'm going to eat them. They are good, but they're not what I thought they would be. I think that they would be a little bit better with milk because it would maybe take away some of that bitter flavor that I was tasting, but it's pretty good. I think I would give it a 5 out of 10. It's not bad, but it's not incredible. I have had better Oreo cookies. That's all I have to say about that cookie. I hope you enjoy these taste test videos, and I will try to spread them out like I said to the best of my ability because I want to be able to help people still. I don't want to see these today and not put up the video for another three months because that's not very helpful. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!